It was something that I'd wanted to do for a while, but for whatever reason, when it came down to it, I just didn't sit down and learn. And you know, opportunities passed me by. I thought I wanted to be a developer, but when I tried to get excited about it and put in the work, it just didn't really appeal to me. It didn't feel like what it was what I wanted to do. It can take a while for someone to really get to know themselves, I think, and uh, work out what their strengths and their weaknesses are. And sometimes without someone else to help you, it can be even more difficult for some people to really work it out. Fortunately for me, it clicked somewhere along the line and it made clear to me and I understood what I was good at and what I wasn't good at. I knew that I didn't want to be a traditional developer. I just wanted to solve problems. And that was it, I was hooked. I wanted to solve the problems that I faced at work and better understand the systems we had in place. And coding allowed me to do that. I used it as a tool to get somewhere, to be able to do something, as opposed to the be all and end all. I had studied programming at college and you know, it was all right. We used Pascal and I made a program, a GUI program that you know, took some data and stored it in a database somewhere, which is all useful stuff, but it was really boring. I think I've still got the files for it somewhere, so maybe one day I'll try and get it running and I'll show you guys. Fast forward a little bit and my interest in Python really kicked off. It, it looked simple, easy to use and really powerful. They had a whole host of packages available that you could do things with and it just looked like something that I could really get interested in and really start to learn. But then back to the issue I talked about at the top of the video, it took me a few years to really get going. And this is where it kind of ties together, is that I found myself in a position where it could really help me. I looked at things that I could create that made my life easier. I learned to write tools that saved hours of my colleagues' time and freed them up to do other things in just a few minutes. And people often talk about that click moment and I definitely feel like that happened to me. So because of all that, I've become a real advocate of doing projects and working on things that actually mean something to you. This truly is the best way to learn. If you've got no goals or no push or anything, you'll never actually strive to reach them. In Sun Tzu's Art of War, he says to never put your enemy in a corner because they'll fight with everything they have to get out. But if you don't set deadlines and goals for yourself, then you'll never get around to doing anything. Sometimes you just have to push yourself into a corner. Learning Python has just given me so much. Uh, in a working environment, I just feel like I have the best toolkit available to, to sort day-to-day -day problems. I can interact with websites or to make tasks that take resource up, freeing those up to do more. I can scrape data from websites. I can present data quickly and easily to those who need it. And I can create tools that will link software together through their APIs, making our lives so much easier. But do you know what the best thing is? I can now always see solutions to my problems. I look at things and say, what could I code to make this better? There's no more, this is just the way it is. If you're watching this video, I implore you to take action and find out how code can help you with your life and work out your goals and set your targets. Just remember, you don't need to be looking towards just being a developer. You can use code in any other way. I know some people that have learnt Python and a little bit of pandas to automate their spreadsheets. It's all available guys, you've just got to work out where you are, what you want to do and see how it can help you. I learned to code to solve problems and you can too.